helps it with the pursuit at linebacker. He's got three great linebackers led by Luke Lovejoy, and uh, they really pursue well. They have great speed, so he's going to try to make that team go to the outside and uh, see that that pursuit picks up with, the, with that club. Now, the wind today, as you mentioned, is going to be a factor. It's hot down here. Uh, the coaches are going to be looking at rotating people and trying to keep people fresh. This is kind of a dangerous day, I might add, because with that temperature being 130 degrees, you got to watch your players and make sure you don't have a heat problem with those uh, individual players. So it's going to be a, fact, a definite factor this afternoon. Offensively, they're from Coach Schnitzler. Will that be reflected in his players, too, do you think? Well, uh, Coach Mazursky really runs a tight ship. I mean, right. Those kids really respond to him. It's almost kind of a military-style uh, approach to coaching. He's really a fine, fine guy, though, and he's really an excellent football coach, but he is. He's uh, very disciplined, and the kids uh, really respond to him. Now, uh, Bob Schnitzler, a little bit different, a little more casual approach to the whole thing. I think as the afternoon wears on, perhaps the casual approach might be uh, the way to go this afternoon. Speaking of casual, we have the most casual guy in the stadium on our Nebraska ETV crew today, Frosty Anderson, a former wide receiver at Nebraska. This is James Anderson, quarterback from Millard South High School. John Atkinson from Omaha West Side. The State High School Athlete of the Year, Tom Haas, quarterback from Aurora. Todd Young, quarterback from Syracuse. This is Charles Carroll, running back from Omaha South. Scott Gertis, running back from Auburn. Steve Mitchell, wide receiver, Ralston High. This is Brian Holloway, may not play today because of a bad ankle from Grant Perkins County. Steve Weiss, running back, the Atris. Craig Foreman, a very talented kicker from Ralston High. Mark Quist, wide receiver, Bellevue East. Greg Dugan, a separated shoulder, the fullback from Lincoln Pies, may not play today. Chris Winscott, fullback from Plattsmouth High. Curtis Cotton, fullback, Omaha Central. Tom Lamel, defensive back, Millard South. John Gorzley, center, Bellevue West. Brent Samuelson, a guard from Bertrand, Nebraska. Ryan Timmerman, the starting center from Beatrice. Bill Siegelbein, fullback from Polk, Nebraska. From McCook, center, Brian Monson. One of three Lincoln Southeast players, guard Dean Sanford. From Lincoln East High School, guard Kent Anthony. From Papillion La Vista High School, guard Scott Lang. His high school teammate, tackle Tom Shepherds, also from Papillion La Vista. A late addition to this team from Omaha South High School, tackle Matt Sopsich. From Omaha, Bryan, tackle the biggest man on the team, 295 pounds, Chuck Murphy. From Republican Valley, tackle Brian Brown. From Syracuse, Nebraska, center Jeff Mueller. From Millard South High School, tackle Matt Rayburn. Todd Mason, and from York, Nebraska. From Lincoln Southeast, and Price Rivers. From Bellevue Christian, wide receiver, Mike Borman. And from Lincoln Southeast, and Tim Herman. Your all-star assistant coaches for the South team, from Bertrand, Ron Kubik. From Papillion High School, Gene Sur. From Syracuse, Reed Stevenson. And your head coach for the South team, from Lincoln Southeast, Chuck Mazursky. And Adrian, you can bet each and every one of these south goal. The north in the white, the south in the red, and you can see the effect of the wind and heat already. The ball is blown off the tee. Jay Massick from Shadron High, number 84, will kick off. We talked about it at, uh, in the pregame show a little bit, Bob, but today's ball game is kind of like playing inside a clothes dryer. I mean, the wind is blowing, <laughs> it's hot, it's heavy, and you're rolling around out there, and uh, it reminds me of just being inside a clothes dryer to, to, to uh, play a football game. Wish Here's these kids luck. Here we go with the 29th Shrine Bowl football game. The kick with the win goes out of the end zone, and the South will take over first and 10 at their own 20. That was Curtis Cotton down there, of course, and uh, the ball riding that win, as you mentioned, uh, Cotton really no play. 
As we look at the offensive backs, at quarterback, as we say, Tom Hasse, at one of the other running backs, Steve Mitchell, Scott Gertis at fullback, and Mike Borman, an outstanding football player at flanker. In the offensive line, Rivers at tight end, Brown at tackle, Anthony at guard, Timmerman center, Sopsich at the right guard, Murphy and Mason finishing out the line of scrimmage. So, Tom Haas, the state high school athlete of the year from Aurora, Nebraska. The first give up the middle to the eye back, Steve Mitchell. Matt Bach, the safety on the tackle. Mitchell, 5'11", 170. Take There's a look at the north defensive line. Ware, Gunther, Duncan, and Engelbert in that up front line. And here are the uh, foaming at the mouth people. Clausen, Lovejoy, and Coleman at the linebackers. And in the secondary, Thomas, Dennis, Bach, and Madeline. Gain of seven on first down, second down, and three for the south. Hasse, the fake, rolling out to the left side. And he'll get maybe back to the line of scrimmage. Saw that time number 72 for the North squad. Uh, Bill Duncan, a replacement, late replacement on that North team. He came up and made the hit, sealed off that right side uh, after a fine execution that time by number 15, Tom Hasse, on that reverse option play. Adrian, we might look for Borman in this situation. Coach Mazursky said they must get the ball to Borman in order to win this ball game. Watch number 89, Mike Borman, on a third down and two. They keep it on the ground, though. Hasse the give back and nowhere. That is Charles Carroll. Check that Scott Gertis on the tackle again by Engelbert. Good job that time, Bob, by Bob or Pat Engelbert from Columbus Scotus, All-State football player, really a, an excellent basketball player also, 6'2", 225. That'll put them in a kicking situation. It'll be fourth down and about one and a half, maybe two yards. Coach Mazursky very high in his kicker. Critical situation here for the South team with the wind blowing the way it is against that stiff wind. He's going to have to get that kick off against a, big, a brisk wind. North ought to come up with good field position on the exchange. This is Craig Foreman out of Ralston High. He's on the way to Northwestern University. It's an end over end kick. And it'll bounce and take a good North bounce and finally down at the check in the offensive line. Lomar tight end Dixon. Linder, Richling, Cox, Wigert, and Thomas filling out the offensive line. It was a toss-up between Check and Sellin at quarterback. Check will get the call and the first give around the left side. That is Euler. Mike Quist on the tackle. Euler, the 306-yard man. 306 yards at one leader in that group. Gain of three, second down and seven now for the North. This is Georgia Chola. Good job that time by number 95, as we just mentioned, Tim Herman on the pursuit and hitting the slot. He got a hand, delayed that ball carrier just enough to get some help. As we look at the defensive backs for the South squad, Atkinson, Quist, Young, and Lamel are the defensive backs. And again, if there's any weak part of the defensive team, I think uh, are on the South team, Mazursky feels, Coach Mazursky feels, that perhaps the secondary just uh, maybe not quite as strong as it needs to be. We'll see if... Uh, Check can exploit that secondary this afternoon. Third down and four, the wind at his back. Let's see what Check does. He is looking down the right side, Good has a throw. man open. That's Terry Thomas. Excellent throw, toss that time by Paul Check on the out pattern to Terry Thomas. Of course, Thomas, a speed merchant, a gold medal winner in the 200 and 400 meters this year in the state, uh, state track meet as we look at him there. And uh, he's one happy young man. Good route that time, and Check delivered the ball right on the break. So. Real good uh, execution by the North squad on that first pass. First down at 10 now for the North at the South 37 yard line. The North very impressive in this opening drive. Paul check the give to the fullback inside. That is Nolan Byer and he is ridden back. Tom Shepard's on the tackle. Tom Shepard's on that initial hit. Uh, really get, he got about three quarters of the hit. We'll see it again. Watch Shepherds come up and boom, he just sticks him, Bob. Just straight up away and then he gets some help from Herman and who's under there? Number 45, I think that's Cotton. Nolan Byer, the Class D eight-man player of the year. The only Class D player on this North team. They'll call him back to the line of scrimmage. No gain, second down and 10 now for the North. Three setbacks behind Paul Check. This is a Chola, he slips at the line. Jeff Mueller on the tackle that time. 
Little running room to the right side, but unfortunately George could not keep his feet and he slipped down. He got a little help, I guess, from one of the defenders, but uh, really had some room to that inside, a good trap play out of that power eye formation. Uh, Bob, you talked about Nolan Byer. He's going to be heading to Colorado State. Uh, Colorado State, of course, known for their passing game over the years, but they also had a, a great running back in Steve Bartolo over the years, All-American uh, that rushed for over 1,000 yards each of the four years that he was a starter. Paul check now on third down and nine, looking oh. across the middle, has a man open. That is his tight end, Danny Lohmeyer of Creighton Prep. And uh, they expected Lohmeyer to have a, a big day today if they were going to be successful. Check's going to try to exploit it, and they're moving right down the field or inside the 25-yard line with 6.52 left in this ball game, or first quarter. It's a gain of 13 and a first down, and trying the left side, now inside the Count five, it. touchdown, Troy Euler. Well, you talked about Troy Euler a little bit earlier, 306 yards in the Class C-1 championship game, and uh, Bob Schnitzer just really feels that Troy is just a quality football player as we see the congratulations by his teammates right there. A little bit of uh, some poor tackling that time on behalf of the South squad. We'll see it once again here. You'll see him break over the line of scrimmage, and we'll see a missed tackle right there. Another Good. one there. Good strong running, I might add. And a great block by Byer, the fullback, up you in the bet. middle that time. You bet. And then kick him out, Troy. <laughs> All right. On to try the point after now. Number 84, that is Jay Masick. It's good. Quarterbacks, Chex, Vela, and Sally Brown and Lucy. <laughs> we'll try to avoid that. Jay Masick will kick it off with the wind at his back and a 7-0 lead. This one is driven down to the four-yard line. Cutting up inside of the 20 is number 45. That is Curtis Cotton. Troy Euler has given his team a 7-0 lead. Tom Haas brings out the South team again. And again, the give to Steve Mitchell, and Mitchell is driven back. Number 62, Joel Clausen, the big man on the tackle. And that's the play they opened up the ball game with uh, as uh, in that first series again. <laughs> Second down and eight now for the South team. Haas motioning, that is Borman, in motion. Haas looking to Borman across the middle, and Borman oh. has it at the 38. What a grab that time, and I tell you, number 32 for the North squad, and that's Doug Dennis, was on the verge of an interception for six points, but Borman somehow came up with the football as we look at Mike Borman, number 89. Uh, just a big, big play football player. But number 32 again that time, Doug Dennis, just, just about a fraction away from an interception and, of course, taking it down that left sideline and going in for a touchdown. First down and 10 now at their own 39-yard line. Again, Haas motioning to Steve Weiss. Haas the give now to Mitchell around the right side, ridden out at the 45. You know, Bobby Borman, if he can handle it, the South could stay in this ballgame. He's on both ways, I guess. <laughs> the heat's on everybody today. Second down and nine at the 46. Look out. That is Mitchell again in open field to the 30-yard line and driven down to the 24. Matt Bach of Fremont High got him from behind, or Mitchell might have gone all the way. Matt Bach, Fremont High, 6-foot, 175-pound speedster, and uh, he did. He ran him down from the backside. Otherwise, Mitchell was history and six points in that south end zone. There we see it again. Good blocking up front, good clear hole, and then Mitchell on the way. But, oops, here comes Bach. This Mitchell's wrestled. an impressive kid. He started out as a wide receiver. They switched him to running back. And Mitchell right now, the big play man for the South. First down and 10 to the North 24. Mitchell the eye back. And the give to Mitchell up the middle, nowhere. That's called the old wall trick. The uh, offensive line as we zero in on Haas. Mitchell is out and Charles Carroll of Omaha South is in. Second down and 10. This is Carroll around the right side, nowhere. They call Carroll the C-Train. He wants to be called the C-Train 5'9", 180 pounds. He'll be going to University of Nebraska at Omaha. And uh, Omaha South, as Bob mentioned. Now, it is area to grab. So you want to, uh, there are little tricks. Those running backs, you know, they got to do what they can to avoid linebackers. <laughs> you should know about that. It Amen. is second down, third down and seven. Around the left side, this is Gertis. Gertis trying to cut up field, driven out of the 12. Gertis was looking for a block that time by Mike Borman, number 89. Your screen, you'll see number 89, Mike Borman. And he's trying to set up a block right there, but he, he, he's going to clip. If he goes ahead and block, He's going to clip, so Gertis has to just do what he can on his own. But he did a good job just to pick up the yardage that he did. Excellent effort that time by Gertis. Smart play by Borman, good run by Gertis. First down at 10 now at the 13. There's that motion we talked about. Motion Bob. is Steve Weiss. Haas looking to throw. He's going to keep it and gets inside the nine. Harry Thomas 
a two-way starter for this North team. How long can he go? We'll keep an eye on Terry. A gain of five on that play. Split backs. Motion. Inside the give to 43. Chris Winscott. I'll tell you what, on the tackle. Uh, Bob, did you, on that play there, number 67, Sheppers, was the man in motion. It was almost the old refrigerator. Uh, you know, fumbles, interceptions, uh, critical penalties at critical times. Uh, it's just been good, hard, solid football in spite of the weather. It is third down and one. Inside the five, the pitch to Carroll. Around the right side, he gets nowhere. Check that. That is Cotton. That is C-Trade, Curtis Cotton. And if Does Cot he get the first down? Well, what do you want to bet? Awfully close. Take a look at it again. Curtis Cotton, C-Train, coming right at you. Haas on the pitch, led by 67 against Shepherds for that refrigerator play, and uh, he slipped. He lost his footing, and he slipped, but uh, nevertheless, it is a first down. First and goal at the two for the South squad. First and goal, four shots to punch it in, about two and a half yards. Mitchell back in. Shepherds in motion again, that Holy refrigerator God. play. Mitchell, touchdown. And you should see the block that 67 Tom Shepherds made on that tackle. Incredible. He straightened him right up, and Mitchell was able to cruise into the end zone. What a block. They're running their mini fridge play, Tom watch, Shepherds. Watch the block by the man in motion right there, 67. Maybe you'll see it. Well, it, you, yeah, you saw a part of it anyway, but uh, he just simply lined up and nosed up the hole, and then he left. Now, Foreman kicking into the wind. It could be a bit of a trouble. Not this time. It's perfect, and we have a tie ball game. Thomas cuts to the left, gets Look a block out. to the 25, and Thomas out at the 30. Thomas lost his footing there at about the 30-yard line. Uh, he had some room to run to the outside, stepped out of bounds. Omaha Burke, fairly well-known individual here. He can play a little bit. Paul Check has gone all the way, quarterback for the North. Check the give to his high school teammate, Tim Yonk. The tackle by Tim Herman of Southeast. Tim Yonk is, uh, I tell you, I had a chance to meet him this, uh, this far. It's on that play, second down and seven now. The North with the full house backfield behind Check. Check looking to pass. Looking for Lohmeyer, has him at the 49. Great toss that time by Check, right on the mark. Good ball handling right there by, uh, by Check. Now watch him. Just straight on, a tight spiral, and Lohmeyer there to make a good grab. This kid is your prototype tight end, 6'5", 235. If you're going to make a tight end, make him look like Danny Lohmeyer. First down and 10 at the 49. This is Georgia Chola. Chola with running room to the 35 and down to the 32. Todd Young of Syracuse on the tackle. Simple sweep play to the right screen. Watch the blocks up front. Just a good diversion block right there. A good kick to the outside by that lead back, and now he's going to cut it back. Number 45 for the South team, Curtis Cotton, overruns the play, and Achola picks up another five to seven yards. On a first and ten, the give is to Tim Yonk, and he loses a yard, maybe two. Brian Monson on the tackle. We talked to... Uh, Achola's got a bit of a bad ankle, or he has had a bad ankle, so whether or not that's bothering him, I'm not sure, but uh, he's running rather well this afternoon. They give him no gain. This is Achola again around the right side, and Achola is ridden down at the line of scrimmage. Now, while we've got a second, let's get out to Frosty Anderson for kind of a unique observation on this ball game. Frosty? Well, Tom, Tom, if you don't think these kids are intense about the game, I talked to Tom Haas coming off the field after that last drive. He did not want to talk. He didn't want anything to break his concentration. I talked to Tom Shepherds, the pulling guard that opened the hole on that. He was ready to go in on defense. These kids are here to play. Frosty, I guess that's not 20 seconds now left in the first period. This will probably be the last play. A third down and 11. Check, looking to pass. Has oh, a man pass. down at the 19-yard line. That is number 86, Gary Crumlin of Madison. Shirt. Get him a striped shirt. Let's get him a microphone. What the heck? Yeah. First down and 10. Ball at the 18-yard line, and the clock runs out before the play can be run. Arena football. Yes. Well, this ain't arena football. This is real football. First down and 10 at the 18-yard line. Tie ball game. First play of the second period. Paul Check is still the quarterback. In motion is Troy Euler. Check looking to pass. Incomplete. Good job that time by the South defense. Uh, looking down there at the uh, number 63, Ken Anthony. Going to go. I'm used to this. Okay. <laughs> Second out of 10, and we have our first whistle of the ball game. 
We just saw our first incomplete pass. We'll back him up. You see number 95, Tim Herman of Lincoln Southeast. He's directing traffic out there. Boy, Tim Herman, what a piece of work he is. Six foot six, 250 pounds, middle linebacker. Bob, I tell you, did you have anybody like that at Southeast when you went to school there? No, sir. No. I was one of the bigger kids, and I didn't even play. <laughs> if you had somebody 6'6 six, six and 250 at Southeast at that time, uh, there was something wrong. You, the biggest kid I saw play high school football, Mike Fultz, was a fullback at Lincoln yep. High. Yep. Those were the days. You bet. Check now on second down and 15. It's incomplete to Thomas. Tough pattern for Check to throw. He's throwing against that stiff wind. That's a really long and deep out. Uh, as, as we uh, watched that ball go right off uh, to the outside, and he looked like he was laboring somewhat to get the ball out there. We'll see it again here on the sprint out. We see motion left. Now watch him come to the, just a little bit to the right, and he just labored and, and uh, sort of side-armed it, Bob, uh, to kind of struggle to make that throw, and a little bit off the mark. Don't be too surprised if Dan Sullen comes in at uh, quarterback in the next series. Maybe give Check a blow on the sidelines. Third down at 15 now at the 23. Check passing again. There's a flag downfield, oh. incomplete. Nice hit. That was number 37, Mark Christ uh, from Bellevue East. 40-yard kick. He's off the left hash mark into the wind. And it's no good. Not long enough. Not high enough. And Haas, the inside handoff to 89. That is Borman. That was... They need to get the ball to him to win this ball game. Bob, and that was one of the five ways that uh, you talked about earlier to get the ball to Borman. It was one of those shuttle pass uh, plays where Borman lines up tight on the outside or right behind that, uh, that outside lineman. And then the quarterback makes that drop. It looks like a pass. You get the rush to the inside from the defensive line, and then he simply shuttles it or just that little pitch to Borman to the inside. Borman now split wide to the left on second down and nine. Haas rolling and slipping at the 20. Tim Herman down on the sidelines with our Frosty Anderson. Frosty? Tim Herman from Lincoln Southeast. You've been stopping them up in the middle. They're pretty good. Yeah, they haven't been doing too much in the middle. We've been pretty much stacking and been keen on Akola and everybody else because they knew they were going to be running to Akola. It was hot in camp both weeks. What was it like? Real hot. It was, it's been just like this, but only this, this turf's a little bit hotter than playing out in reg regular grass. Plenty of water keep you okay? Yeah, they've been keeping us watered down pretty much. All righty, they're stopping them up the middle. Start calling him Mr. Clean. Boy, I tell you, I love that hair. <laughs> Haas oh, look looking out. to Borman, and he has it at the 40-yard line. What a catch on a third down and nine play. Incredible incredible timing on the, uh, for Bo on Borman's part, Bob. The, the ball underthrown, but he had enough sense to stop, come back, and make the toss. Now we're going to see Haas take the drop. And watch, it, watch Borman at the bottom of your screen. There he, he stopped. He had enough presence of mind to stop and come back and make that, uh, make that grab. Coach Mazursky told me yesterday that Borman is probably one of the finest football players he's ever seen at the high school level uh, anywhere he's ever coached, so, and that play evidence of that. First down of 10 now at their own 39-yard line. Haas looking to pass again. The oh. delay to number 83. That is Price Rivers of Southeast down to the 35, tackled by Kirk Coleman. They are opening up this ball game in the second period. Bryce Rivers, of course, going to Dartmouth this uh, this fall. Again, a National Honor Society member and uh, another Southeast grad. Got to be proud of him, Bob. Tell you, these Southeast kids looking good today, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. I wonder if he uh, shares his friend Herman's haircut. <laughs> no, when, when I was at school, boy, we wouldn't do that. That was still when the Beatles were popular, though, so I predate these guys a bit. First down and 10 at the 35-yard line. Good pickup. And Haas this time keeps it on the ground. Charlie Carroll, I think, on the call that time. And we're going to see a little. Mazursky sent against Steve Wise. Let's check the call. And it's somewhat of a surprise because a lot of strength of that North team defense in the south, of course. Uh, well, between Borman and Haas, uh, that's where all the action has been. There's Carroll again. Charles Carroll tries the right side, gets maybe four yards. The big center that time with a good block, that is scholarship. Pick up of five, second down and five at the 11. Tom Haas has gone all the way at quarterback. Haas rolling out to his left side. He may keep it. Haas tucks it under and down to the 10. Goodman did a good job, and it just uh, ran Haas right down to the ground. 
Coleman stayed at home and limited that to a one-yard gain. Third down and four now at the 10. Haas looking for the quick hitter outside. That is Borman incomplete. And I tell you, Borman had him turned around, and that was a, a really well X. He's got him on about a step and a half. The you ball, know, the, the just ball was, was not thrown that well. I think Borman right. adjusted well. Right. And I'm, I'm amazed Mattingly could keep up with Borman. Mattingly right. did a nice job there. If the ball was maybe a yard more inside, I think Borman had it. Maybe about six inches lower, Bob, and we got our, they got ourselves a score. So, Foreman on for the field goal now. They'll try it from the 17-yard line with the win. 27-yarder is up and wide. And it stays 7-7. 8.02 left in the second. Well, they're, they're throwing underneath us, and we've got, to, we've got to do a better job covering the short pass, and we're just keep holding our fingers. We're not going to go deep with Thomas. Okay, both kickers have had trouble. Is the wind, do you think I'm, the wind's I'm, a consideration? I'm sure it is because Foreman's an excellent, excellent kicker. It was a toss-up between Check and Sellin. They said they would both play a lot. Let's see how Sellin does. Going into the win now, second down and six at his own 24. The give is to Euler around the left side. And Lang on the tackle. Scott Lang of Papillion La Vista. Down and four now for the North. From their own 26. There's a whistle as Euler goes in motion. But it gives the North team a first down and 10 at their own 31. Euler in motion again. Selling the pitch back to Achola. And Tim Herman leads the stop. Tim Herman there to make that initial hit. And then he got some follow-up out of number 67 for the South team. And again, Tom Shepherds, the young man we've been talking about leading that block up inside the five-yard line for that touchdown. And uh, Shepherds has really had himself quite an afternoon. We're going to have to keep him in mind here. Uh, for, for uh, you know, the most valuable player on us uh, this afternoon, Bob. At least the most versatile player. You bet. Again, a timeout of the field, an official. Uh, taking a shot of that water there. They just pump up that water out of that canister. Attention, Tim's saying, hurry up. <laughs> Get that thing working. Word. Look at Herman dump the water in his hat, put it right on. Yep. Timmy's just a macho guy. He likes that. Uh, he probably doesn't like playing on this AstroTurf. He likes that dirt. And uh, there's a way to go at it, too. He said, heck with this. Yeah, the heck with the pump. Give me as much as I can get right now. But uh, And, of course, you have uh, the Hi, co -eds. Yes. I hope you have your suntan lotion on. We don't want any burn bodies today. Now, there's a good idea. Yeah. I mean, something else. Stay inside. But they come out to watch some good football and support the Shriners. I tell you what, and after you make that trip to Minneapolis and visit the hospital and see the young kids, uh, it really uh, puts everything in perspective for the ball players and the people that make that trip and uh, people like you and me, Bob. Achola on second down and eight across the 40 to the 42. Tom Lamel on the tackle. First down and 10 now from the 42-yard line. In motion is Bayer. The give is to Euler. He's ridden down to the 45 by Herman. This Herman is all over the place. Herman doing a good job. Uh, number 61, Dean Sanford in there again, uh, going to Nebraska this fall. And that, that South team front has really played well. The front line and the linebackers have done an excellent job this afternoon, and they've taken the pressure off that secondary, which Coach Mazursky, of course, felt perhaps uh, would be part of, a, part of the weak link in the defense. So as we look at number 61 there, Dean Sanford, he's uh, from, again, Lincoln. What is this? So everybody's from Southeast this afternoon, including the play-by-play -play guy. I tell we, you, I... We got to do something about that, folks. I'm doing my best not to be biased. <laughs> now, there's, uh, there's uh, one good way to keep the, the body temp down with that uh, cold towel on the head and keep that sun off your noggin. Here's a Chola. Maybe two yards. Scott Lang on the tackle. We mentioned the press with the way that secondary has come on and play. They've done rather well uh, in spite of the rap, so to speak, that they've taken this afternoon primarily by me. Third and four. Euler following his blockers will not get the first down. Let's give credit now to that secondary. It is John Atkinson, Todd Young, Mark Quist, and Tom Lamel doing the job as we look at Troy Euler. Sort out things. Euler... Uh, I think you mentioned earlier, did you not, about his... Are short, it's fourth down and one. A full house backfield. Georgia Chola gets the first down across the 45. Matt Rayberg on the tackle. Curtis Cotton that time roaming around there from the linebacker spot, and uh, he was looking to make the stop. But uh, now watch, uh, watch to the right side here. You'll see number 45 get boomed right there. And then uh, Chola takes it up to the inside and uh, picks up that first down. First and, first and 10 now at about... The down and 10 at the 44. 
Chola, that type of back, you just give him a little bit of a crease, and he's going to pick up that yard or two. Good reverse. Here's oh. Chola and Herman. <laughs> Hello. Meet you in September. <laughs> a little bit early. Adversaries now, teammates later on the Nebraska freshman team. Tim Herman, 6'6", 250, middle linebacker for the South Squad. Georgia Chola, running back, 5'11", 192. What, what a collision. Ooh, I mean, and he got him with the right arm only. <laughs> get that's, that phone call, would you? Yeah, it's like he gets up and he's talking out his ear hole because his helmet's all turned around sideways. I've seen that play a couple of times. Oh, I tell you, uh, George is still in that ball game, though. Yep, yep, tough kid. It is Paul Check back at quarterback. Check looking for Thomas out of bounds. You know, now, Check has delivered the ball the last three or four times with a sidearm delivery, and he, he looks like he's laboring a little bit. I don't know if he's got a problem with the arm or not, but uh, perhaps that's something Frosty Anderson down on this. He was holding a finger in, a, in there. See his middle finger? Yep. That could be part of the problem. We'll check that. Third down and 11. And the give is to Yonk. Yonk looking good, and Yonk has a first down inside the 34. Well, that's a good bit of running by Tim Yonk and brought down by Mark Quist, number 37 for the South from Bellevue East. But... Yonk carried Quist for about seven yards on that play. We get a good shot there at Timmy, and he's coming to Nebraska. Watch see, the, uh, see the blocking up front. Good hold of the inside. Now move it to the outside. Good running. Good strong running up there. Now watch Quist. There's about one, two, three, about four yards, I guess. Timmy hard to made all state with his 920 yards. A 2,000-yard rusher was just unheard of in high school. Unbelievable. You bet. First down 10 at the 33. Georgia Chola on the right side. There's a flag down. Herman again on the tackle. You know, Bob, this will date me, of course, but back in my high school days, we didn't even keep track of yardage. <laughs> <laughs> Play up to the inside this time. And that was Georgia Chola moving it inside. The play's going to come back, however. It's going to be stepped back, and it looks perhaps like it's going to be a major penalty on that play. Oh, probably a holding penalty. Preliminary call is a hold, Adrian. Right. You're right. Achola taking his hat off, taking a blow. Either that or lose 15. I tell you, there'll be words. There'll be words. Yep. Paul Check. No stakes for the line tonight. Nolan Byer, the fullback. The fake to Yonk. Check looking outside to Byer. Byer to the 40 and the 35 and out the 34. I tell you, that's a great gra uh, grab that time. Paul Check looking to pass. Going down the middle for Terry Thomas. Oh, touchdown. touchdown. It's like that made. Massick out of Sellens hold. It's up. And good. One minute, 36 seconds. Five kick here if they can keep the, the ball on the team. We're going to go through that exercise, but he does. That's what he is. You bet. Massick into the wind. It'll be out of bounds. They'll do the whole thing over again. But the kickoff duty is not very much fun, especially if you're the wedge buster. Massick into the wind, and again, it's going it again. out of bounds. From the 30. It's staying in this time, folks. I'll tell you what. And it's short. And it's going out. Nope. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Matt, Mark Mattingly. Delivers the blow. Good job, good alert play by both people. I tell you, a great spot now. First down at 10 at the 30. Haas is still in there. Haas is going up top looking for Borman. It's intercepted. Number 28, Matt Bach of Fremont with the pick at the 29. All down the field. And the clock is running. Selling at quarterback. The give on the left side to Georgia Chola. You know, if we're to give a prize for a guy who came the far... The you clock know, is still running, 48, 47, 46 seconds. Power eye formation behind Sellen. They may be content to run it out. The give inside and a flag, and, and words are being exchanged. That was uh, Euler on the carry. And not only the field is hot, the tempers are hot. A little head. 32 seconds left in the ball game. First down. And now with field position, Sellen gives to Achola. And Achola ridden back. Herman again on the tackle, and they're taking a timeout. North uh, going ahead, selling that time, calling a timeout. Some fancy Dan footwork, but uh, it's not going to work. And there's Tim Herman once again. I tell you, those, those two uh, might room together this fall. They've met so much uh, this afternoon on the field. Uh, is it, uh, the old adage about it's better to give than receive. 
is, uh, is only, uh, it's, it's very true with respect to playing the game of football. It's better to deliver that blow than to take it. You don't see too many uh, offensive backs that will deliver a blow to a linebacker like it will happen vice versa. And uh, especially when the linebacker happens to be six foot six and weigh 250 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a chola beat by about 60 pounds. Uh, and he can run. That's the other thing. Seconds remaining in the first half. I tell you, he's a kid with all the tools. Every kid here is an all-star, and they can all play the ball game. You will not see a bad player on this field today. Second down and 10 at the South 47 North Ball, 22 seconds left. They shift into a wide set. They put Euler in motion. Check looking to throw. Looking down the middle to the right side, it's tipped away by Achola, or from Achola, by Tom Lamel. Get a little drink and refresh and then come out and finish up this ball game. Third down and 10 to the 47, 16 seconds left. Check is chucking it again, this time to Euler around the right side, out of bounds, tackled by Lang. Out of the 48, a loss of one. Good job that time by Scotty Lang once again. Scotty from P Papillion La Vista, and he's covered a lot of ground this afternoon, and. Uh, Showed excellent pursuit that time with great speed to the outside to pick up that screen pass. There he is. Matt Bach, number 28 on the carry on the fake, and that'll run that clock. Now, no, there's going to be time for one play. I'll tell you, the play would have been successful and might have gone for considerable yardage, but number 54 on the play, and that's Luke Lovejoy. We'll see it again. Now, watch to the right of your screen. Bach is going to run into 54 right there. Now, had he been able to get outside of that block by Lovejoy, number 54, he would have picked up great yardage to the outside but that'll never happen we'll never know what happened on that play At the end of the first, first down and 10 the clock runs out the south does not get off a play and the north goes to the locker room leading 14 7 at the half on a hot humid windy sticky football saturday here in lincoln otherwise okay uh anything fancy we can expect in the second half well we've got to play better defense we we never forced them to a punt situation until there's four seconds left in the half and we just can't let them have the ball all the time we got to have more chances if we're going to make anything happen have there been any surprises at all well not really i think both teams are doing about what we expected good luck second half thank you very much all right frosters tim tim herlin oh they're still in lincoln that is you're absolutely right they uh, sent two planes this year. So many kids, so many big kids, they couldn't fit them all into one plane. <laughs> and the clowns go along. That's, that's the offensive backfield, actually, for the North. That's our Nebraska ETV production staff, oh, they tell me. okay. Two charter planes, Masaba Airlines, took the planes, full of the kids, the North in one, the South in the other. Never the twain shall meet. They take off on a warm day, headed for Minneapolis. A lot of kids apprehensive about this. Some kids not really sure what they'll see at the hospital. I know some people, uh, so it's orientation for the players, what to expect. They're greeted by the Shriners. They're the coaches, Bob Schnitzler on the right, Chuck Mazursky on the left. Every player that goes to the hospital is teamed up with a patient in the hospital, kind of their own personal guide. <laughs> Look at that. One way. Well, I tell you, those kids really can get around up there. And you know, the thing that really is impressive about them is that They've got all these serious medical problems and they're coping with those things, but they're as bright and cheery-eyed as you can be as you look at uh, some of the players now. A uh, little young girl in the wheelchair. Here's but George uh, Chola and Eric Wiegert. Uh, Wiegert from Fremont Bergen, that's George there. And really, this is the payoff for these kids. They, uh, they benefit financially from the game. They benefit emotionally from the guys. Luke Lovejoy, Doug Dennis, and Mark Linder with the uh, little guy playing basketball here. A little hoop. But they really cope well with their problems. They're bright, they're cheery, and they really have a lot of fun with the ball players on the particular day they're there. And they don't talk about their problems, Bob. They talk about positive things, not negative things. As we look at the, the picnic area there in the park area where you eat lunch. This Everybody. is, uh, I think, Justin Hagem on the right side with the guy. Right. You know, these are all kids with hope. Kids getting treatment. Kids that know they will get better. Kids whose parents and, and loved ones care enough to send them to a Shrine Hospital. Many times kids that, that can't afford the treatment. 141 degrees. And as uh, if you've joined us late, folks, uh, at pregame, the temperature was 132, and that was about uh, three hour or two hours ago. And we are underway in the second half. That is 46. Nolan Byer dragged down inside the 10. Great job that time by Chris Winscott. Uh, Chris, again, part of that family tradition is dad, Tom Winscott. Played here in this first Shrine Bowl. And Selen played some. Dave Svela of Lincoln South, or Lincoln Northeast rather, did not play at all. But check of Skyler comes out. 
Power eye, Achola up the middle across the 20, and he fumbles. Oh. It's still bouncing around. Who's got it? It looks like the South. It looks like Tim Herman. I think that's exactly right. It looked like Timmy was late coming in, but he got the football. So there we go. Here comes here comes 6'6 six, six and 250 out of that pile. Uh, a happy young man right there, a happy South team. Take a look at it again. George Achola on the carry. Achola, Achola cuts up field and loses it. Achola breaks over the uh, right side of the line. Good blocks that time up front. Now room, run to daylight, and then he just simply trying to make that extra yardage through that ball carrying arm out to the front, and he lost control of the football. And Herman, of course, the man of the hour, the South recovers and they own it now at the 29-yard line of the North team. Credit Todd Young with the strip of the ball. Anderson now the quarterback for Millard South, bobbles the snap, hangs on for his life, and gains a yard or two. And look at the tempers there flaring again. Well, that's a little... A uh, few missed calls with Ryan Timmerman, the center of Beatrice. These kids have had limited practice time together. That is Anderson's first snap. Playbook. <laughs> Second down and six of the 25. Anderson inside to Gertis. Gertis down to the 21, maybe the 20-yard line. Football player, scholarship player coming to Nebraska from Omaha Creighton Prep. Uh, had a bit of an injury problem with a leg and decided it would not be uh, feasible for him to play in this game, so Duncan took his spot. Inside handoff that time to Gertis. They ran that Shepherds around. By Lazerski in good execution. Shepherds in motion again, coming right at you. The give this time to Gertis around the left side on a first down and 10 from the 14. Check that. That is Charles Carroll now backing up Gertis. Carroll, number 23 of Omaha South. I tell you. Foreman will split wide to the right. 25, Gertis is the fullback. 23, Carroll is the eye back. This is Carroll. Third and four at the eight. Anderson, the quarterback. Anderson, the give to the C trade. Carroll down to the five. He just keeps picking up the alignment. You're going to see Tim Herman uh, lined up at that offside back. Over on the right hand side of your screen, that's big Tim Herman. Fourth down and, and one, C train into the line near the I first down. Don't know that he got it. He looked to be short to me from this angle. Charles Carroll stacked up. They'll unpile him. They'll spot it. And we'll see. Coach Mazursky mentioned that uh, he's very confident in his kicker, Craig Foreman. Of course, he's confident in his line, too. And already a gamble here in the first half on a fourth down and one. I think they're short. I think they're short by the length of the ball, perhaps. Yeah, we'll take a look. Yes, sir. They are short. The North holds, and they will take over. Now, what will Coach Schnitzler do? Let's go down to the sidelines. Got on this time. Uh, uh, Cut out something even more than that. Watch 46, Nolan Byer. He is your fullback. And George oh. Achola, oh what boy. Matt Rayberg with the tackle. Good job by Rayberg, shooting through the line that time. Okay, Coach Nessler, what's on this time? We're gonna run a trap. He made a good quick move of the line and made the hit to actually lost yardage on the play. So good job that time, let's watch again. Full house backfield, that is Byer of the middle on the trap, nowhere. Rayburg again. again on the tackle. What's this time, Frosty? 50 on short motion, let's go. On two. It's a gutsy play right here. You bet, short motion, they'll be looking to dump the ball very quickly to get that play out so the, run, the uh, receiver can get going and run with it. Uh, you won't be looking at a long time back there unless he gets hot pursuit or the, there's a breakdown up front. Terry Thomas to the wide side. It is Lohmeyer, the tight end on the near side. It is Euler in motion. Check the quarterback. Looking for Euler across the middle. He has Lohmeyer and overthrows him. Breakdown on the play. Uh, I think number, 80, number 82 for the North team that time. Boy, if you ever wanted a gift, you got it. Anderson it's, in there uh, again. Yeah, Jamie's back in there, James Anderson. Two big breaks for the South, a fumble and a bad punt. Anderson on the option will look to pitch to Mitchell, and he's ridden out at the 18. No gain on the play, second down and 10 from the 19. There's the motion. That is Borman. Anderson looking to Borman just behind him. And Good look at James Anderson, six feet, 173, Millard South, headed to Dana College. 
Third down and 10 still. At the 19, Borman in the slot. Anderson the shovel, shovel to Borman, all kinds of room. And they ride him down to the 16 and there's a flag. His holder is Tom Haas of Aurora. It's that fake kick, we saw This that. is the fake, we knew it was coming. The throw back to Herman. Herman gets around Thomas, inside the five, down to the three. That's the play Coach Mazursky had indicated that they might run, and he ran it very well. Uh, as soon as we saw that motion, we knew that something was coming with respect to the fake kick. And of course, Tim Herman again, 6'6", 250 pounds, and he's not somebody you just bring down with a single arm tackle. We'll see it again here now. It's, it's going to be a throwback here. You see Herman. And now, nice move to the inside by the handy dandy running back, six foot six, 250 pound linebacker turned running back, Tim Herman from where else? Lincoln Southeast. <laughs> Southeast coach Mazursky told us that if they ran motion from left to right in a field goal situation, look for Herman on the delay on the left side. There's Herman, number 95. They knew it was coming. They executed it well. They pick up an important first down. And Herman lumbers all the way down to the two yard line. The South is in business again. Look at Mazursky. He's got to be happy now. Playing that offside back in the power eye formation. They've been running that way all the time all afternoon. Now they're going the other way. Good Haas to back at quarterback to give to Carroll, and he's stopped by Engelbert. Herman that time in the game simply as a decoy. Uh, they've been looking and running that way almost all afternoon with Shepherds and Herman leading that block up to the outside. At that time, they ran Herman to the outside, hoping they draw it off and came back inside. Herman may be the early favorite for MVP, Adrian. I would say he's definitely a consideration along with, you know, Shepherds has done a good job too, offensively and defensively. Both, uh, both have done very, very well this afternoon. Second down and goal at the one. Haas the quarterback. The give to Mitchell. I'll tell you what, great hit. Number 52 on the inside, and that's uh, Mark Linder from uh, Millard North, a super stater. I tell you what, great job. Six foot one, 260 pounds, and he filled it up. Watch inside here. Boom, right there. Just a great hit. You can't hit him any better than Man. that. That's payoff territory right there. I mean, you have no margin for error, and they filled it up. Linder filled it up about as well as anybody. Oh. That's Herman in motion. Haas will keep. Counted up. Haas on the naked bootleg to the right. Touchdown. Wow. Great play by Tom Haas. And that's number 34 uh, for the North team that missed the tackle, Troy. And it's down. And it's up and good. 14-14 ball game. 3.02 left in the third period. And this South team is marching. Coming back. They've just hung in there like a junkyard dog all afternoon of plays but the south team has just hung in there as we've discussed and you've got a little bit smaller team again the, the heat is maybe not as uh, severely impacting that team as it might the bigger team to kick it off deep is Thomas two yards deep they'll whistle it dead contact Jim Carmichael or Steve Elvis and Nebraska ETV they'll be happy to help you out 472 3611 the give there on the left go. side that is Euler wants it on the tackle A gain of maybe four yards out to the 24. The clock is running inside three minutes now in the third period. There's the wind, and there's the temp, sports fans. Remember this day, it's a record setter. 104 ties the Lincoln heat record for this day. And as we have the wind chill index, we now have the heat index, uh, but not today. <laughs> Everybody jumps. There's a whistle talented athlete and he comes from a multi-talented family uh, in all regards and just uh, it's a joy to watch him play and Georgia Chola around the right side good play by number 37 that is Mark Quist Quist single-handedly stopped a Chola that time down in 12 obvious passing situation the man in motion is Euler check with protection looking across the right side has Lohmeyer Lohmeyer out to the 32 and a first down Seen that play quite often this afternoon. I think that's a 31-yard line. Lohmeyer on his way to Nebraska on a football scholarship. First down to 10 at the 31. The give inside of the fullback is Beyer.
Terry Thomas now split wide to the right. Check the quarterback. Fire the fullback. And Achola the eye back. In the slot is number 30, Tim Young. To give to Achola and a whistle. Start up 30 seconds now. 22, 21, 14, 14. Second down and two at the 29 for the north. Check looking long for Terry Thomas. That's a bingo. Intercepted. Number 17, Todd Young with the pick at the 21. And, and the we, flag. We got some color on the field with a flag, and uh, they're gonna, it looks like they're going to call an interference penalty on that play. They're going to say that Young pushed off on Terry Thomas, I believe. Todd Young can't believe it. He's beside himself. He thought the referee was looking askance from the play and uh, saw something else happen because he said, no, I didn't do that. I just simply intercepted the ball. The boy, the ball was delivered. It was a high floating pass. And you could see it coming. You could see the bingo, the, the pass interception coming as referred to. And I don't know that it was Todd Young that, uh, that committed the interference. It might have been somebody behind. We'll take another look at it here. See okay. Check making the drop. Now watch the ball. If we can, if we get a shot at it, the ball just floats. Now, see, see the ball, the man is hit behind right. him. Right, that's Atkinson, Young, 13. Young had nothing to do with yep. it. Yep, Atkinson, 13 of Westside, was the guilty party. He really never even came into play. If right. he had not pushed Terry Thomas, Young would have made the pick on his own because he had position between Thomas and the ball. Right. So it's not a good... Nice check. Check to the 50. And check down to the 45. Oh, he Tom. just ran away from Brad or Brian Monson that time. Good move by Check. Tom Lammel finally brought him down. And it was a fine, fine job by Lammel because, again, an open field tackle with, an, uh, with a quarterback. To, he can run. Check can run pretty well. And you'll see him sprinting out left here. Runs away from number 59, as we discussed, uh, Brian Monson. Now watch 47, Tom Lammel. Good heads-up tackle. He got the head to the right side, and he was able to uh, force him down actually just about short. What do we got? First down or not, Bob? Is that stand out? Uh, Shepherds has played well. Uh, Check has played well. George Achola has played well. Of course, the running back, uh, Steve Mitchell, has played well. Anybody I would leave out at this well, point? Well, let's see. Uh, Borman has played well. Tom Haas. Haas has played well, right. And one to give to Euler. And I think he's short. Number 69 that time, a replacement player, Matt Sopcich, came in and made that initial hit. Whether or not he stopped him. Short of that first down, it looks like it's going to be a bit short. Dan Sell in the quarterback. Power eye formation behind him. The eye back is number 30, Tim Yonk, and he has the first down. Uh, from all indications, and we don't mean monkey business by any means. Dan Sell in the quarterback, first down and 10 at the 43, to give inside and the flag. Nolan Byer again, the eight-man player from Sydney St. Pat. Three plays for Check, two or three for Sellen. Let's see what Check can do now. Byer is the fullback. Achola the eye back. They split. Watch that motion. Euler Same in play. motion. There he is in the wide open. Check wide looking open to middle. Euler at the 30 and down to the 29. It's the same route that we've seen now. That's about the fourth or the fifth time with that set and that motion. And every time, I think uh, at least four out of those five times. Your screen, the receiver will break free over the middle. Good timing call, or good timing pattern, that is, and a good delivery by Chip for a series. First down to 10 to the 29. Check to Achola. Oh. And Herman rides him down. Welcome once again. <laughs> These two guys just seem to go everywhere together. Uh, we're going to have a, a blotted 95 and 24 on each jersey by the end of the afternoon if this keeps up. Look at him again. This watch, Herman kid can play. Watch Timmy Herman at the top of your screen now. Just comes sailing in there. He, he, he did the old scrape maneuver. He comes to the outside. I guess, uh, you know, the old blitz, uh, we talked about no blitzing. That really was not a blitz because they can come up and meet that sort of motion or that, uh, that sprint out action. That is within the frame of the rules. It's not actually a blitz. No gain. Second and ten. Full house backfield. Check. The reverse fake. Check. Looking to throw. Across the middle, he has Thomas down to the nine, spins away to the five, inside to the three. Todd Bob, Young finally brings him down. Bob, you called it, Terry Thomas. Territory, folks, first down and goal at the three, a tie ball game, 9-18 left to play. Power eye behind check. This is Euler slipping to the four. 
Well, I tell you, on paper, I looked at these teams for, for the better part of Paul Roach at Wyoming next year on a football scholarship. Second down and a loss of two. It'll be second and goal from the five. The reverse by Check. They tried it once. Will it work again? Check to the five, to the three, to the two. Tom Lamel on the tackle. Tell you what, Lamel's making a name for himself this afternoon with some great open field tackles because he just check, roll right, ball on the hip, of course. He runs out of the grass with number 65, Scott Lang, and then boom. Boy, and I tell you what, that's a great hit. Just a great hit by Lamel. It's a good stop, and he hung on to the ankle on the foot, did not let him go. He'd rather twist that because it's yep. down there, and the, you only got one shot down there in that, in that territory, and you got to make it right the first time. And, uh, well, Check's going to check off. He doesn't. So, see here, good, good shot ground level. Look at that pulling guard, number 52, for the North team. That's Mark Linder. Pulls out, leads the play. Fine block delivered by Linder uh, just right there at the bottom of your screen, rolling over. There's a guy that celebrates, but he ought to share it a little bit with Mark Linder, who uh, really got him in the end zone. Mark Linder, Miller North High, headed to Wayne State. George, by that man at dinner. <laughs> he gives his North team a 2014 lead. Massac will come on to try to make it 21-14. It's good. 7.51 left of the 29th Shrine Bowl and the North. The number of players that made the National Honor Society uh, roles in their schools and, and were on those uh, roles two or three or four times straight. So a lot of academic talent. Oh, there's some uh, fancy. There's the reverse. Fancy play out there. And it goes to Borman and Borman is driven down to the 23. And that was Justin Hegman for the North squad that, uh, that made the hit. But again, that reverse on the goes to Borman, and Borman looking for somewhere to go. But nowhere to go. Hegum, uh, Hegum just heads up play. Hegum headed to the Colorado School of Mines this fall, but heads up play. Justin Hegman from Morrill, Nebraska, six foot two, 190 pounds. Tom Haas to throw on first down across the middle. Nobody there. One, um, they figure if they can get him one on one, Bob, he's got a real good shot at making that grab and uh, advancing the ball. We'll watch Borman. A bit of confusion now. Borman sets on the right side. Weiss will go to the left side. Haas, the quarterback. They'll run motion with Borman to try to draw the safety. Now Borman heads up field. Haas looking for him across the middle. He's there. Haas going long. Borman is open. Go! And it's tipped away. Number 28, Matt Bach with a good play. That was some excellent coverage that time by number 28, Mac Bach, as you just called it, and also, also by number 32, Doug Dennis. Let's see what's up next. And where's it going this time? Fullback was hung up in the wind, did not get there on time. Had it gotten there on time, maybe Borman would have gone, but uh, Matt Bach was able to catch up to it and made a great play. Third and 10, watch the fullback, number 25, Scott Gertis, will delay and go across the middle. And he is nailed. Boy, they sniffed that one out. Are these guys listening to what we're, we're saying up here? <laughs> uh, again, the wind has, has really been uh, stiff going from our right to left uh, in actu actuality from the, going from the south. Euler is deep. Foreman will kick. It's a pretty decent kick into the wind. Drives him back to the 46, to the 45. Good wall, good Mueller wall. has the wall to the 40. He needs one block to the 35, inside the 15, down to the eight. Excellent execution in terms of punt return and setting up that wall down here below us uh, to the lower part. Okay, they're going right up the middle, Adam. Isolation, the linebacker's dream. <laughs> Boy, this, this is a major penalty. It takes them from about, where were we spotted, Bob? Somewhere around that 10-yard line, 12-yard line? That's a big break for the South team. First down and 10 to the 45. They're coming right up the middle. An isolation play basically uh, is designed to isolate the linebacker, and there's a lead block by the up back. He blocks the linebacker, either depending on how he's shading, takes him either inside. They're going to keep it up the middle. And I want to tell you, the wind is pretty brisk down here, and it's behind the north's back. They could throw here with the help of the wind, but they're electing to stay on the ground. To see now we've got a second and four. They're about second and three. And uh, those isolation plays, you can pick up five to six yards. That's what you want to do in a situation like this. Watch Tim Yonk now around the right side. Yonk has a first down and more. Curtis Cotton finally drags him down. Three-point lead in the ball. Power eye formation. Euler, Byer, and Yonk behind Sellen. This is Byer. No, check that. That time it was Euler. 
56 bl power I left, 56 blast. The ISO play, the blast play, that'll happen. Euler and Beyer, and this is Yonk. Adrian, what can the defense do now? They're limited to a fourth back. Watch the right end. That is Terry Thomas. Paul Check now in at quarterback. The fake. Thomas across the middle. 